guys, Ange here. Thanks for joining me and welcome to my channel, Angelic Beauty and Flair. In today's video, I'm going to show you some suggestions of how you can pack your makeup travel bag, whether it be for a weekend away or a short vacay in a small makeup bag like this. I would like to share with you some of the items that I see as necessities when I go away. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate if you could click the subscribe button and if you'd like to be notified when I upload my videos, please don't forget to click the notification bell. I would love to see you back for more videos. So anyway guys, I wanted to share with you how you can pack very minimally for a short vacay. I must admit, sometimes I go away and I overpack and take way too much makeup. I don't need a lot. I find I have a lot going on. There's lots to do when we're away. So I don't need a lot. And you can multitask with lots of items. Now, in this lovely little bag here that I got from Mecca Cosmetica, which is still available in New Zealand and Australia. And I believe in the States, uh, Anya Hindmarsh do a very similar bag. I will leave links down below for both. What I like about this bag is that you have a larger compartment here of where you can put your makeup items. And then in the little smaller pouch on the other side, I have all my liquid items or TSA approved items. They're all in the sizes that I'm allowed. They, I have samples, I've got skincare little samples in here as well as my makeup. So I could easily use this for a weekend away or for around five days. If I wanted to go for longer, I would probably put in more little samples of skincare here. I have my little bottles of moisturizer and cleanser, so I can get them all in here and it is TSA approved for the sizes that I have. You can also just get, like this was a, a giveaway wee bag that came with um, hair care items that I had. But you could also use a wee bag like that as well. I do cheat a little bit as I do have a separate holder for my brushes. Now this cute little bag is from Makeup Forever and why I like this is that it has a breathable mesh in the top. You pop your brushes and I have my beauty sponge in here as well. And you unzip it at the other end and you pop it on the sink and your brushes are all there ready for you to reach for. So I do keep that separately. It wouldn't fit in my makeup bag as well, but I'm gonna show you some of the suggestions that I have for this. All of the brushes that I have in this holder here are what I use, showing you the products that I have in this bag. So if you can use your fingers for a lot of things, like I use my fingers for my face products and for blending in my concealer you can save on the tools that you take away so they are my brushes and this is my items that I have taken away so if you would like to see how I created this look using the products in this pouch here please keep watching okay so I think a great option for travel is to take a CC or BB cream. This way you are covering your sun protection as well as moisturizer as well as some sort of face base. The BB or CC creams that I have that I enjoy are the, the Clinique Anti Blemish Solutions BB cream and I think this would be perfect that you don't have to have acneic um, problem skin for this. This is a beautiful BB cream. I also like the Supergoop CC cream. I like the Aborian BB cream. And I have recently really been enjoying this all natural Swiss natural defense BB cream SPF 30. Now today I'm going to pack and use the Clinique one because it's lovely and compact for packing. Put 
my old ears on. Okay. We got the BB cream of the shape. And the good thing about a BB cream is that you don't need any extra tools. I will be packing a beauty sponge, but you can apply the BB cream with your fingers. And I really like the coverage of this one. It still has a natural look, but it um, gives some sort of coverage. When traveling, this is when um, little travel sizes come in handy. This is concealer. I will put a little bit under my eyes and in the evening if you were going out you could um, even spot correct some of the spots on your face uh, for a more full coverage yet light evening look. And then once again to save on tools I will use my fingers. To blend that in and then I can just carry that over onto the eyelids so that it can double as a eye primer as well two powders that I, I personally like for travel there are, I have I love my RMS Beauty because it is a very compact small little tub of powder and if you're wanting something a little bit more full coverage and for a little extra coverage on your BB cream you could use a powder foundation uh, this one is the MAC Studio Fix and that's what I will use today so then I just take my big powder brush and then just pop that on. For brows when traveling, I like taking two items. I like taking my Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows and my little NYX Micro Brow. I really enjoy this if the legendary brow brow gel if it was a quick and easy time to sort of duck out and I didn't want to spend time doing my brows this is a perfect little product could just finish there then if I did want to define them a little bit more for evening say then I could go in with my micro brow pencil now when it comes to palettes I have got a lovely little range of palettes that I can recommend for travel and I will go through them before I select one of what I'm going to use for this packing. Okay, palette wise, when it comes to travel, I love palettes that have a combination of different items within them. So I'm gonna go through some of the palettes that I have and I would choose any of these palettes as a travel palette when going traveling. One, um, unfortunately, was a limited edition palette and that was the Tarte Aspen Ovard palette. I love this because you've got such neutral beautiful eyeshadows in here you have a blush you have a highlighter and um, you could even use um, one of the eyeshadows as a bronzer if you wanted comes with a beautiful big mirror and um, is wonderful for travel a, another limited edition item but this does get reintroduced each year is the Kevin Aquan beauty book and I like this because once again it has the mirror, you have cream, contour and highlight and you have four eyeshadows so you can use this for several different ways as well. The Tarte Clay Play palette, 
this was a great little face palette that has a mirror comes with a bronzers blushes and eyeshadow looks so you can get they're more bronzer looks but if you were going on a summer holiday these bronzer looks you could use as your blush come bronzer and then you have all the eyeshadows in here as well this one here is not available but the clay play 2 is still available on some sites two palettes that i absolutely um just about always pack for traveling are uh, the hourglass ambient palettes um, and I've got the unlocked palette so these are great because you've got your blushes your bronzers your highlighters and you can also use these colors as eyeshadows as well so they're probably my preferred travel palettes then in the same vein one of my other favorites is the Kelly contour by Smashbox this has bronzers contour highlight blush once again, you can use all of these for eyeshadows as well. Then, of course, we have the beautiful Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look in a Palette 5 Minute Face on the Go palettes. Now, you can have your choice. Um, this is the Seductive Beauty. So, it comes with a highlighter, bronzer, come contour blushes and three eyeshadows and a mirror and so that seductive beauty you have the beauty glow which is by far my favorite I love the colors in here and then if you are wanting something a little bit more um, neutral for during the day and smoky for the evening you have the smoky eye beauty so I highly recommend these for travel, they are divine. So they are the sorts of palettes that I have in my stash for travel palettes that have sort of everything in one. And today I'm going to use the Smashbox Kelly Contour palette. So starting out with a contour colour, I would go in and just do a bit of a shadow under my cheekbone or under my cheeks, a little bit down my snores, then I'm going to go in with the bronzer colour and just catch the outside of my face, cheeks, absolutely adore this blush and I really like this then in this palette you also have this sort of banana powder which is great for tidying up any of the bronzer blush color just down the center of my nose and then we have a beautiful highlight shade in here Going in with my Marc Jacobs lip liner in sugar. This is quite a pale pink colour, this one. Going in with my Colourish Shine number 658. This is a nice everyday colour. Now, other great travelling tools for the eyes are cream eyeshadow sticks or cream eyeshadows um, I have the by Terry black star pencils I have a nude sticks eye pencil and I have one of the Giorgio Armani color tint eye, eye colors now these are great for during the day and in the evening and are wonderful 
for packing for a trip. Um, I will utilize one of these as an eyeshadow base today and that is in the color Blonde Opal from By Terry. The good thing about these again, you can just swipe it on your lid, spread it with your finger, save on tools, quick and easy and if you wanted that could be enough and out the door. You could definitely go in with a dark colour to do your crease and everything else. But I'm instead going to opt for my Kelly Contour Palette. I'm going to go in with a Morphe R37 brush and the bronze shade. And I'm just going to go in the crease here. I'm going in with the blush colour and just adding that in the outer corner. Taking a Sigma E45 brush and the blush and just running that under the eyes. And then just for a little bit of extra colour I'm going to go in with the contour brush. Contour, sorry, the contour colour and an outer V shader brush from Makeup Geek. And just go in the outer V of my eye. Taking my finger, I'm going to go in with the highlighter and just pop that my finger. Bit of mascara. Okay, so that's the finished look and it was just using the one um, the one palette, the Kelly Contour, and this is the look that I came up with. Now I could vamp it up in the evening with a brighter lip. I'm just going to go over the top of this lipstick with a darker one. If you didn't want one quite so nude, but is still a nude. So you can change the look up with the different lipsticks. Um, for evening you can amp it up even one more time with a liner just to oomph up the eyes just a little bit more okay guys so that's the finished look and my suggestions of some great items to pack for a travel bag so if you enjoyed that guys please give it a thumbs up I'd love to hear if you are going away for a wee break over the Christmas period uh, if you haven't already don't forget to hit the subscribe button I'd love to see you back I hope you all have safe and wonderful holidays and I look forward to seeing you next time see you later guys bye